Thank you for staying with us. You're still watching The Breakfast on PLUS TV Africa. And right now it's time for a hot topic. We'll be talking about mapping your success in 2024. Now, mapping your success is the bedrock to achieving all that you've set for yourself, all the goals, dreams, aspirations. How do you get to achieve them in this year? Well, we have a guest joining us. It's Emmanuel Wanjidobi. He's a de human development and personal growth expert. And he'll be talking to us on how to map your success in 2024. Hello, good morning, Emmanuel. Thank you Hi. for joining us. Good morning, and thank you, Rumi. It's so good to be here. Yeah. You were supposed to be here on Monday because this was slated for Monday, but Lagos happened to you yes. and you couldn't make it. But we're glad that we're here now right. and we can, you know, start taking notes on, right. you know, what to do for this year. Someone said that we should stop saying Lagos happened to you or Nigeria happened to you. <laughs> <laughs> but it happens. It's it But it's still happening. It did, yeah. actually. What, what, do we, what do we do about it? Welcome. Well, when, we, when we think map, we think geography. Right. Think, you know, so it's interesting to know uh, that there's a, there's a map for your success. Right. Right. The other day we were talking about... Um, how to make your money grow, grow on trees, trees right. yeah, so it, it's, it's like okay we we're, we're going into farming farming money so to speak <laughs> right. so it's, we're glad that you are here with Thank us you, sir. today so just explain to us the concept okay. of uh, mapping your success okay um thank you so much for having me one more time thank you um yes so yeah from the word map for me it's um pointing us to the fact that every destination has a pathway mm. and so you do not become unintentional about your journey i didn't get here by mistake i knew exactly where i was going to and not every road will lead to this place so i was intentional about going through the right road that lead that will lead me to this place right mm. so if i if i do not have a first-hand knowledge of the direction which a map gives to us. Mm. Now that's the like idea the behind the map, yeah, the compass that leads us to a particular destination. So if I do not have a first hand information about that direction, that mapping, I won't get here. Mm. I won't get here. And so interestingly, every human has a destination. That's what we call destiny. Mm -hmm. And so unfortunately not everyone gets there. Well wow. fortunately. Not everyone gets there. Okay, so if in, in the sense of you know, mapping out your success, we've established the fact that you need a, a pathway to get there. Right. So how do you start that journey of mapping your success? For instance, you, know, you need to prioritize some certain things. You right. need to you know, plan certain actions. In right. 2024, you've just said you have to be intentional right. about your journey. So right. how do I start to map out my success? How do I start on that journey of ensuring that all, all I've set out to do for this year is being achieved at the end of 2024 at the end of 2024 right. i'm looking back and i'm saying yes i i made these goals i made these plans and right. i'm able to say here right now that i i you know surpassed even sometimes i surpassed right. everything that right. i set out to do right. so how do we start to um plan and prioritize those actions all right um first there is a slogan that we began to thought leaders began to use in 2023 so while we were ending 2022, we began to say 2023 was a great year. Yes. Right. So December last year, we also began to say 2024 was, was a great year. year. The idea is finish living 2024 in your mind even before you start living it in reality. Mm. So what does that do? What it does is it, it keeps you on track when you begin the year. Because you've, for instance, if you see you know, a building construction, a building site, the finished building, it's only you and me that don't know the outcome of that building. But the architect the ar knows. Knows already. Mm, All right, like so that. the idea is to finish living 2024 in your head. And then you start, you know, in reality. So now for me, the first step, now people will be confused, how do I start? Mm -hmm. So the first step is to first realize that success is relative. Okay. So you do not define your success by general standards now success must not be material mm. that's important Got to a lot of persons when they look back at 2024 they want to say oh i was able to build a house i was able to buy a car i was mm. able to travel out i was able to do this and do that. sometimes 
your plans, your success, your, the definition of your success in 2024 may be that you were able to use 2024 to set a foundation for 2025. Mm, and, that and that is, is and that is actually already. success. Now, because if you judge your success by someone else's standards, you'll be running on someone else's timeline and you'll miss out of, on your own journey, right? So I, I tell my mentees, for instance, one of the things I mapped out for this year, I said, um, I want to break into higher cycles. There are certain international bodies um, you know, trying to look at. So I want to break into higher cycles. Now I told them, I said, if you decide you like the goal, break into higher cycles, and then you decide to want to pick that goal, you may miss out. Now, what if you are the type who has who still have a problem with low self-esteem, mm. so you have a problem with lack of self-confidence, so you have a problem with poor people's skills, so you have a problem with social skill and all of that. If you break into higher cycles, you may end up trying to look for a second opportunity to make the first impression. You will make a lot of mistakes. Mm. What if you channeled your own success for the year to self-development? Mm. That's also success. That's well. success because it mustn't be material. So the, the first step to start is for everyone to ask himself, where am I in my journey of life? And where do I want to and go? And where to? do I want to go? That's the first step. So know where you are and define where you want to go. That's the first step. I like that. Yeah. I like that. So let's talk about vision board a little bit. Right. Um, Cause there's been a thing over the years now that when you decide you want to do something, as long as you have it in your mind's eye, you can definitely achieve it. Right. So you see a painter, for instance, a painter doesn't, we don't know what the outcome of that painting right. is going to be, but it starts with a brush stroke right. and that brush strokes with another one and right. different colors and now turns into a beautiful masterpiece. Right. So now we're talking about, you know, mapping your success. I want to know what the importance of vision board is. Um, does it keep you in track? Does it, you know, just help you solidify and crystallize all that you're saying I want to do in 2024? I mean, I have had a vision board before. Right. And I'm sure a lot of people maybe might not, might not think it's so important. Right. But I want you to just highlight, is, is it super important for you to have a vision board? Even if you're not, you know, putting the pictures together and having it like a scrapbook. Right. Yes. But... Is there something, maybe you're just writing it down and saying, these are my goals for 2024, and then you start to tick them right. when you achieve them. But right. just walk us through the importance and why it's essential to have a vision board. All right. Um, one of the things that has always been proven, um, even with children, is that children learn um, by visuals. And so teachers have tried to use visuals to show them things. Um, because it sticks, the eyes is um, the I think the, I'll call the eyes the most the most effective route to the mind. Mm. The eyes. Okay, you hear things like women are moved by what they hear, men are moved by what they, they see. Okay, I don't know if that's true. I am going to just smile like. Just word at all. <laughs> that that goes. The, the way he explains that, that okay, that's, that's I'm a victim here. <laughs> We all know the mumu button that we have. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> all right. So, so, so um, that's the same thing that happens in our personal lives. That's mm. vision. Mm. Your ability to see through your eyes because it sticks to your head. Right? Now, you may not be too... You, you mustn't bring a whole lot of expertise into it. Now, okay, let me, let me, try, let me bring, start from the point of expertise. Um, the most accurate way to do your vision board is to use graphics. Yes. Graphics. If you, at some point, because I wanted to do, we wanted to do physical events, I like do events, online events, webinars, and all of that. So because I have the vision to do physical events, and I had a vision of the number of persons I wanted to, I, I want to come to the event, I had to go have a, a graphics that showed um, a big, a very big event, large event, the kind of hall, because all of these things, the ambience, I needed mm -hmm. the picture to be in my head, and then I had it pasted on my wall. Hmm. So every time I look at it, I remind myself, this is exactly what I'm looking for. This is exactly what I want. Now, if you find yourself losing passion, losing zeal for that thing, the moment your eyes go back to that thing, it puts you back, on, on, track. It puts you back on track. Hmm. It, it re-energizes you. It, let, let, me, let me go back a little bit. Um, I tell people while I was in school, um, I'm doing a bootcamp presently, I told you about that. So, yeah. I, when I was in school, I was sharing with them how things were not too rosy with me. 
Yeah. Uh, if at some point, let me say this, at some point, I see myself, I can stay like two days, I've not eaten. Wow. Three days, I've not eaten. Right. And so I did something. I put, I, I picked the paper and I wrote there, I'm a world leader. Mm, I like that. I'm a world leader. I was telling my mind an opposite of what the present reality was showing. Mm. Because we naturally, our minds are very, they are, they are magnetic to the environment. Mm. So we must intentionally hack into our mental system to give it a different picture from the present environment. So I wrote there, I am a world leader. I put it directly opposite my bed. <laughs> so that the moment I wake up, that's, that's the what first thing I see. Now, this world leader will wake up without food. Mm. This world leader will wake up to maybe, I was telling them in my boot camp, I said, then I don't drink water. I sip water. Wow. <laughs> you know, there's a difference between drinking and sipping. So I can manage one pure water for three days. Why? Because if it finishes, I cannot afford to buy another one. Hmm. It was that bad, right? So, but uh, this same proposed world leader will wake up without food, but will look at that thing on the wall and remind myself, I am a world leader. So I think it, it, it does something to your psyche. Yes, it does. It does. It's, it's... Yeah, before we get it, we get it wrong, um, there is one thing Nigerians say, okay. and I don't know if it's the same thing as you're saying now. Okay. Whatever is going to happen to them, they tell you, not my portion. Hmm. And they do not do what they're supposed to do. Right. They just say, not my portion. Is right. that the same thing you're talking about? Is it a not my portion thing? It is. Go and cure that malaria, not my portion. <laughs> <laughs> not my portion. As long as you've said it. Yes, right. so, so let's know so that we know that if they're doing the right thing right. or that is slightly different from what you're talking about. Okay. Um, the idea behind this is that actions are sponsored by thought patterns. I like that. Actually. Actions. There is nothing we do that is not sponsored by how we think. At the end of the day, as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. Right? So, it is not a vague um, statement, I'm a world leader. Because if you lose energy from within, you will not step out to do anything. Mm. If you lose hope from within, your faith will die. So what that vision board does is to renew your hope. Hopeful people will always step out again. I'm sorry, when you say renew your hope, I'm, I'm wondering whether it's Nigeria's type of renewed hope. In fact. Because we're still here now. So <laughs> this is I just... <laughs> <laughs> hey, just laugh. Okay, now, now this is it. I, I like that. I tell people everybody is a leader over his own life. Mm. If you look up... Now, if Nigeria is having a problem, we look up to the leader. If your life is not moving right, we look up to you. Mm. It's your It's your, your responsibility. Yeah. So you, we must rise up to leadership. Because leadership is not actually a position. It's actually you being in that place where you influence an outcome. Mm. So you influence the outcome of your life. Okay. Imagine 200 million people look up to Tinumbo. And you yourself can't even look up to yourself. You can't even lead you. Mm. Right? So... If Tinubu is promising Nigeria renewed hope, you as a leader over your own life should promise yourself renewed hope. Okay. Right, so vision board helps you do that. Helps you renew your hope, renew your joy. Uh, when I was in school, I had a roommate. Um, so one morning I woke up and the guy was just down. He's out of the country now. He was just down, he was just down. And I'm like, what's wrong with you? He said, I'm just tired. I'm just tired. So I said, Enoch, before I'm up to my bed, but I'm covered. If I come back, go through your vision notes, go mm. through your diary, just go through it. I went to take my bed. I came back, Enoch was playing music, Enoch he was, was ready, rounds. ready Enoch to was, take it off. Oh my God, because um, his hope has been renewed mm. that whatever is happening now is uh, not my reality forever. So mm. he has seen the future coming. So that's what Vision Board does. That's it nice. reminds you the future, it restores your joy, it restores your hope, and in the long run, all of this will influence your action, trying to answer what he said, not just to have hope that it will happen, but it influences that hope, strengthens your faith that sponsors your action to make it happen. Okay, so don't go into that bush. It is, it is snake infested. <laughs> don't say, not my portion. Are you going well, you into must the bush? Do something. You have to do something. Yes, that is stay do away from that bush. Yes. Yeah. Like, okay, now, one of the killers of success right. is procrastination. Right. How do you deal with it? Okay, um, this has been everyone's problem. 
so I'm going to talk about procrastination from the place of indiscipline first. Hmm. I I was I was talking to um, my the participants in the boot camp. Um, how that in, I remember one particular year, my friends and I we said, this new year no carbonated drink. Mm. A lot of people say that because people make New Year resolutions, right. no and by the first drink. week, you it's, probably they are done with. So, and uh, now ask him. He said since that time till now, he has not defaulted. Wow. I defaulted along the way, right? So there's a place of discipline, right? Uh, uh, because the first way to overcome procrastination is to build discipline. Mm. When I was in school, I, I like going back to school was actually a defining moment for me, mm. right? So it changed so many things about me. When I was in school, for instance, I remember I, I talk a lot. I, it's not even maybe vague or profane talks, but talk like what I do. But I, sometimes I told myself I need to learn how to even not say everything. Just calm down, reserve, mm. say little, then ask for more, right? So. What, what I, I did then was I wrote something down. From today, I will listen twice as much as I speak. Mm. I put it at the wall, just um, near the door. So when I'm going out, that's what I see before going out. So when I go out, I see it. I read it from today, from today, no problem, from today. So I go out. And then when an opportunity that warrants me to talk comes, you think about oh my that. god, I think about it now because I have not overcome that dis indiscipline from inside. I see myself talking again, and something reminds me from today. And I'll be like, Don't worry, from tomorrow, from tomorrow, from tomorrow. <laughs> I just want to enjoy this talk. Uh, as they, I will hit the gym on Monday, all right. <laughs> and the Monday, no, please don't go there. You talk to me directly if you're talking about the gym because I've always been <laughs> gym with my mouth, <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah, right. so um, it took me over time to build discipline. So you that's know, a key so strategy. That's a key strategy. Is there any you other strategy? Yeah, there are others, but yeah. I, just, I want to start with discipline. That's so we're, the we're, we're, they're already telling us that we have to wrap up. So I think just give us okay. like a few strategies that you okay. think would be helpful for anyone who's trying to map out their success in right. 2024. Right. Um, number one, I think what I would tell people is build accountability partners. Okay. It's very important. Like, like this issue of not taking carbonated drink. Remember those people who were very close to me. Sometimes when they see me, once they take it, they say, "No, you said." Mm. Sometimes I see them. I say, "No, now because you've stopped me, I will, I will stop, stop you." you. Too. All right, and those things were helping us. Right, so build accountability um, partners. partners. Then um, build reminder systems. It's important. It could be. Uh, the, what I did writing on the wall, yeah. or even vision board can be a reminder. Put it everywhere. Write it in a paper. Put it in, on, on, your Bible, on your phone, on your phone screen screensaver. Saver, right? If you're a student watching this, on every note, put it there. When you go to class, you open your notes. That's the first thing you see. And you remind. So, reminder system works. Accountability partners work. Uh, then doing things immediately. Not procrastinating. Not, that's just when you have the idea to do it, do it immediately. But when eventually something urgent comes in, there's a tendency you forget. That's where reminder systems mm. play out. So when you go to the toilet and you have seen where you wrote, I'm going to do this. You remember, oh God, I said this. Then you see yourself going back to the so attack. So for me, these things work. Be discipline, uh, remind yourself. Create a reminder system around yourself, then learn to do tasks immediately. I believe it um, will be a better uh, remedy. Yeah, for, it's for a good sure. thing. Your name is Emmanuel. God is with us. God will help <laughs> yes. us to be disciplined yeah. and to remember things and then to build, uh, have the right company right. Uh, around you. Right. you know? that, that's basically right. what it is if you want to excel. Right. So thank you very much, Emmanuel. Thank you thank so you. much. I mean, we've learned a lot and I'm sure our viewers have learned a lot. Um, mm -hmm. We've talked about... Um, having your vision board, right. using it to motivate yourself, right. it being a reminder system as right. well, building discipline. Because I right. think that the problem, you know, we, are, we all can say things with our mouths. Right. We can all say, yes, we want to do this. I'm one of those people. You 
you say, I want <laughs> to do this, I want to do this, this year, and most times we always see the year as a fresh start, which is, it is, good, but good. it's just a crossover from one year to another, so it's right. another day. Right. So you can actually start today. It doesn't right. have to be, December, you know, the first, first yes, or first of first. January. Right. So you can start to make those plans, and even when you default, have that reminder system that puts right. you right back on track. Who is the motivational talk oh. right here? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, it's fun having Emmanuel join right, us, thank and you for it's having fun me. having you uh, be there to watch us. We'll do it again same time next week. Uh, well, let's Monday. have this small weekend to rest yeah. a little bit. <laughs> I would like to say thank you to you. Like to say thank you to Emmanuel for thank coming you, Emmanuel. on Emmanuel. the show. Remember that Emmanuel is a human development and personal growth expert. So outside here, you can contact him to give you some tips on how to be a success right. story to yourself. You can never reach the apex. Right. Everywhere you are, you are still going to be able to improve on your life. So yeah. take that opportunity. But for me, until we meet again on Monday, my name is Nyamgul Agaji. Thank you for being there. Well, my name is Rome Olsen. Thank you so much. Have a good weekend.